Hey, how is it going? Lee Hayward here. And right now I'm actually having a conversation with one of my coaching students, Jeff. And he's been part of the VIP coaching program for quite a while. It's technically called the Muscle After 40 Blueprint. I know Jeff's not 40, but it's the same principles regardless if you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, or beyond. And in fact, if you're younger, you'll actually get better results than someone who's in their 40s, right? Because I mean, you have a bit of youth on your side. But anyway, Jeff has been following the program and he is an action taker because he's constantly keeping in touch with me, letting me know how things are going, following the program consistently. And th that's awesome. I mean, that's what I love to see, right? Is having that type of, uh, you know, consistency and, and not just trying to wing it on your own, right? Like if he has questions, he reaches out, he's following the plan. He's active on our private Facebook group that we got. He's doing the, the lessons and the assignments and just a good student, Jeff. <laughs> You're just a good student. That's what I have to say. But anyway, uh, let's, I just want to do this little quick chat with you to kind of like, just figure out what was your situation like before you came on board with the coaching program? Like, why did you even reach out to me and what were you doing? And so kind of just introduce yourself. Like, what was your situation like? Sure. Yeah. Um, well, about, so two years ago, I was uh, at my heaviest, I weighed about 235 pounds. Uh, so I, I was very overweight. And I didn't even really realize that I was that far overweight until I saw a picture of me on one Friday night, um, my wife showed it to me. And I just couldn't even believe like how, how big I looked. And, you know, I, I was, I was ashamed. And, you know, and I just, I couldn't believe it. It was like, it almost like it snuck up on me. You know, I started doing uh, the keto plan because my wife had heard that the keto plan was a great idea. She had talked yeah. to some people at work about it. Um, so I did that. No, no exercising or anything, just trying to eat better, you know, cut out uh, some things. And, you know, and I ended up losing quite a bit of weight. I lost about, about 50 pounds just, just on that diet alone and, and also intermittent fasting too. I was doing a lot of that too. And so I lost a lot of weight, but, you know, I still, I, I wasn't really happy with how I looked, you know, I, I still, I had that kind of skinny fat look going on. Um, and I didn't necessarily have a lot of more, uh, more energy. I just kind of, you know, cause I, I had been fasting and all that, you know, I just really wasn't where I wanted to be physically. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I started working out on my own. I, I inherited a, a, a home gym from my dad. Um, so I started working out on my own and, and everything that I was doing was just things that I was watching on YouTube, you know, videos. And that's where I found you. I was okay. following your, your live Q and A's every Friday. And I would always make sure, you know, I was at four o'clock. So I'd always go on at like three fifty and make sure I was the first one there. So I could type my question in. So you'd make sure, you know, that you could answer it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, you know, I did that every Friday and, you know, I just really liked your, your demeanor. You know, I've always sought out teachers who are just, you know, everyday guys, you know, with families and careers, you know, knowledgeable and just good at what they do and, and, you know, walk the walk. And so that's what I really liked about you. So, you know, and, and that's why I started with you. And, you know, there's so much, you know, crazy information on YouTube. I mean, there's so many differing opinions on what to do and everything. And, you know, I think the reason why I reached out to a coach was because I started thinking that in order for me to put on muscle, I had to bulk and eat a ton of right. food and yep. I just ended up getting very heavy, mm -hmm. you know, and I was like, like, I'm not doing something right. You know, um, I need to, I need to seek out the advice of a professional, somebody who knows what they're doing, you know, to respect the art form, you know, it's, it's almost like an art form of you know, nutrition and fitness and everything. And it's like, I have to seek out the masters of the art form and, and try to learn as much as I can. And, and we were just chatting earlier before we actually started to record this conversation. We were talking about music. And like, I know like you're into, into music, you're a music instructor and that. And I kind of relate it, like just imagine someone wants to play an instrument. Yes, I can buy a guitar or I can buy a set of drums or a piano and I can start to learn it on my own. And nowadays we've got a lot of stuff. Like I can go on Google, I can go on YouTube and there's tons of tutorials, there's tons of information. And yeah, you can try and learn it on your own. But it's not the same as having that teacher-student relationship, right? And I can relate to this because back even before the days of the internet, you know, when I was younger, I used to play guitar. I used to do guitar lessons when I was in high school. And I did that for several years. And again, there was no internet at the time. It was just that teacher-student relationship. But still, like, there, there's power in that, 
versus just trying to pick it up and do it on your own. You know, I've been playing music now for 22 years, and I've been studying with a teacher now for about 22 years. Do you still uh, have a teacher right now? I, I do, yeah, because you never stop learning. You know, it's, it's not a destination. You don't get to a point where on an instrument where you're like, I've reached it. I'm, you know, right. I've, I've mastered yeah. it. You know, it's like you're always striving to be better, you know, and, and there's always somebody, you know, who has more experience than you or, or has something to show you and something to teach you, you know, and it's, you know, you don't want to shy away from, you want to always seek that out. That's awesome. I didn't know that about you. I mean, but that is that I respect that. Like I still get fitness coaching. Like I'm a part of a, a fitness mastermind group and we meet up three times a year and we have our, our private Facebook community and we do like zoom coaching meetings and stuff like that every single week. So I'm still getting coached, even though I've been doing this since I was 12 years old. Like I started working out back in 1990, but mm -hmm. I still keep myself educated because there's so much information. I mean, it still comes back to the basics and the fundamentals, but I mean, you just, you like to say, you can't say I'm done. There's no finish line. Mm -hmm. Right. You always need to have that insight. So I appreciate that. Thanks for sharing that. One thing I'm, I'm interested in now, like you, you said, you wanted to come on board because you, you felt like you were doing it on your own and you wanted to help with the coach. I'm sure it wasn't just an easy decision to come on board for coaching. Right. I mean, like there's, there's usually we're almost like you got a devil and an angel on each shoulder and you're like, should I listen to him? Should I listen to him? <laughs> and like, what were some of the reasons or some of the things that were going through your mind? Some of the doubts, I guess, some of the doubts that you had and, and, why did you almost not even join this? Because I know like everybody's on that, ah, should I do it? Should I not? Should I do it? I don't know. I don't know. And then sometimes it's almost like, ah, screw it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> like yeah. That's the way it is for me anyway. I'm just curious. Like, what is it like for you when you made that decision? Oh, well, I, I just, um, uh, I, I just needed somebody, you know, I, I needed somebody to help me and, and help me move me along. And it really wasn't a hard decision for me. You know, you had all the characteristics and everything that I wanted in a teacher. And I understood that seeking out a teacher was the way to go and the way to move forward. I guess if there was anything, it would be self-doubt thinking like, can I stick to this? Is, is this going to be something that I'm going to, you know, be passionate about and disciplined with, you know, or am I going to realize that this is just too much to handle and, you know, and, and get overwhelmed. Um, but it, it hasn't been anything like that at all. You know, it's, it's been great. And I appreciate, you know, the pace that we've been working at, you know, all the help you've been giving, how understanding you've been with all the questions I have, because I feel like I send you a message about every single day, different questions about food or, or workout uh, or, you know, uh, form on exercises or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I was at the grocery store the other day, and I think I took a picture of the nutrition label on something and sent it to you and was like, is this okay? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i mean it, it's just been great you know all of those things that i was uh insecure about i mean it hasn't been anything like that at all it's been it's been absolutely great what you just mentioned there i didn't bring it up but it makes perfect sense i think a lot of times when people are looking at like a coaching program it's not so much not believing in the program it's not so much believing that hey, it worked for others. It's obviously working for the coach. It's obviously worked for others because most people see like before and after pictures of other people. But it's that self-doubt, like, can it work for me? Can I actually do it? Mm. And I, I can relate to that. I think that's a big thing that holds a lot of people back from, from taking that plunge. It's like, okay, yeah, they did it. He did it. She did it. Whatever. Can I do it? And that's what really holds a lot of people back, I think, is, is that self-limiting belief. Where I've been doing this a long time, I can see the potential in people that they can't see in themselves. And I'm sure like as a music instructor, like you probably see that with some students, like someone might be starting an instrument and they're like, oh, I can't get it. I'll never get it. Oh, this is too hard. And they just kind of throw their hands up in the air in frustration. If you just stick with it day after day and then like over the course of a year, like it's inevitable. You will get better <laughs> if you continue. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And that, that's one thing I've kind of realized by working with you. It's just about mm -hmm. getting a little bit better every day. The hardest part is starting, you know, and <laughs> it's so once, true. once you're in the rhythm and you're doing it, you know, it's, it's yeah. really not hard at all. You know, I mean, I was just thinking about this before we logged on, you know, like I, I don't feel like I'm actively trying to get leaner or, or to try to get in shape. It's just happening as a result of just the habits, you know, we've been practicing through the coaching program and, you know, through talking with you. 
and yep. now it's daily life thing you know it, it's it's not an effort it's not like every day like i feel like i'm like depriving myself or or, or being hungry or like oh it's because i'm just trying to get a little bit leaner i'm just trying to get a little bit lean it's right. like like I'm just living my daily life and it's just happening as a result. And it's, it's, you know, that, that's a great feeling. I, I like that. You're not focusing on the goal anymore. It's focusing on the habits. It's this person that you're becoming, right? So that's, that's pretty cool. I appreciate you for sharing that. What would you recommend now, Jeff, like for someone who is sitting on the fence, like they've been like yourself now struggling with their fitness and nutrition and getting half-assed results, but don't really feel like they've got it all figured out. Like, what would you recommend? I mean, it's, it's just worth it. It's, it's worth it to, to do it. It's worth it to take the plunge. It, it's, you know, it, it, there's no, there's, it's like the greatest feeling in the world to look back and see the progress and see where you've come and, mm -hmm. you know, it motivates you to keep moving forward. It, it's, it's worth any, you know, the, it's, it, it's worth the lifestyle. I mean, the lifestyle isn't hard, but it, it's, it's just worth working with a coach makes it the most efficient way possible. And having somebody who's so open to the questions, you know, that I ask and, you know, I've never, and I think I really appreciate it. I've never like gotten laughed at for a question. Cause I feel like some of the questions are, are silly, you know, sometimes, cause I really just right. don't know. Um, you know, but you always answer, you know, with right away, you know, very quickly. And at uh -huh. times you even make videos, you know, to explain the question. Sure. And it's just, I just appreciate all of that. You know, it, it, it makes my journey uh, better, the whole experience better. Yeah, so I just, it's great. Just do it. Thank you for sharing that. And, and the reason why I am that way is because I remember when the internet started. Because like, as, as for anybody watching this now, like I've been around since before the internet started, right? So that means you're a dinosaur. I can remember the very first time I logged on to a bodybuilding forum. It was before the days of bodybuilding.com, before YouTube, before Google, before social media, like before all this, there was these old fashioned forums, but there was this one particular bodybuilding forum and I signed up to it and I was so excited because I thought, oh wow, like you know, I have access to all these guys now who are bodybuilders and they know what they're talking about. And I went in there and I posted my very first question. Now, again, I'm only like maybe 19 years old at the time or something like that. And I posted my first question on the forum and everybody just shot me down and made me feel like a piece of shit because it was a stupid question according to them. But it was something that was on my mind. And like, I, I thought it was something, obviously it's on my mind. It's an important question, right? I'm, I'm concerned about this. Mm -hmm. And I put that question out there and everybody just kind of like, Oh, you idiot. You don't know that. And blah, blah, blah. And just, they shot me down. And I mean, Man, it just left a bad feeling right off the bat. And then I was almost afraid to ask questions because I'm like, well, gee, if they shot me down from this one, I don't want to look like an idiot. So I'm just going to shut up and not ask any more questions. And I, I try not to have that attitude at all because it had such a negative impact on me. And like, I don't want to make anybody feel that way. If somebody has a question, obviously it's, it's important to them. It might seem simple to me, but it's important to them. So let's get that question answered and not make them feel like an idiot for asking it. So that, that's why I am that way. Like, I don't care what it is. I mean, it, it could be something so basic, like just nutrition related or exercise related, but like, I'm, I don't, I'm of that mentality. There is no stupid question because if you have the question, it needs to be answered. Mm, yeah. And I, I really appreciate that, you know, and I know your yeah. other coaching clients appreciate mm -hmm. it too. That's great. Cool. I, my wife, um, she worked with a personal trainer at a, at a local gym and yeah. I remember, you know, we were talking and you know, I asked you a question and, and she said to me, she said, I could never message my personal trainer at that gym, you know, and have them get back to me. It's like, I would see them for the hour at the gym once a week. And that was it. That was the end of our communication, you know? And she's like, so it's, it, she's like, it's great that you can just message him and he gets back to you, you know, like that. And, you know, it's, it's, it is, it really is great, you know, and I really do appreciate it. That's just one of the things like with this coaching program, like I don't count hours, like a lot of trainers, they, they bill by the hour and everything is by the book, by the book. Like, no, I look at the result. Like you came on board to get a result. So I'm going to do whatever I can to help you get that result. That's one of the things I'm self-employed. So I don't look at the clock, <laughs> right? Like a lot of employees are looking, oh, this is, this is the hours and this is how much I'm making per hour and all that. Like, I don't even look at that. It's just like, hey, I'm here to get a result. So, I mean, if you got a question, I'm going to get that question answered and I'll do whatever I can to help you get the results. This was a great conversation. So I just wanted to um, have it and I appreciate you for being so open and sharing. And like I say, we can, uh, we can clue it up unless there's anything else you want to add there, Jeff. Yeah, no, no. I mean, I think, I think we covered everything. Thank, yeah. Thanks again for having me. It's awesome. Well, like I say, I know you've made some great progress thus far. And like I say, the best is yet to come. At the stage you're at right now, like 
you're, you're starting to see the outline of your muscle definition, right? Like when you stand up, I can see, you know, okay, the outline of your abdominals and see the separation in your chest and that, and like your back and the, the V tapers coming in. So every bit of body fat you lose from this point on is just going to highlight that even more. Whereas back when you were 230 plus pounds, like if you drop five pounds then, you're just going to look like a, a slightly smaller version of the same fat Jeff. <laughs> you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. now where you have, you're, you're lean at this stage, when you start to burn more body fat, now it's going to be the fat that's in between the muscles, the fat that's blurring the definition, right? So that's, once you start burning that, then it's like, whoa, you can like, like the last five pounds or the last 10 pounds, whatever, is going to have a much bigger impact in your look than the first 10 pounds. Mm -hmm. right? Like you, you lose that first 10 pounds of body fat, you still have a layer of body fat there to go. But once you get down to burn that last little bit, the muscle, the fat that's in between the muscles, that's the difference between going from like lean to ripped. And that, that's mm -hmm. really cool. And like I say, you're, you're approaching that phase right now, which is really cool. So this summer is going to be a fun summer. Once this whole COVID thing ends and we can actually get out and live it again. <laughs> but, yeah. but you're on track for when it happens. <laughs> well, anyway, Jeff, I'll let you go, my friend. It was great chatting with you. And uh, thanks for sharing. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me, Lee. So I hope you found this conversation helpful. And if you would like to get some more information about coaching and having someone to help guide you along the way towards reaching your fitness and fat loss goals, then reach out to me. Let me know and we can have a conversation and brainstorm some ideas and action plans that are right for you. So all you have to do is click on the link that I'll have down in the comment or in the description below this video. Uh, there's an application form where you can sign up for a free strategy session call and we'll hop on the phone or we'll hop on Skype or Zoom or whatever, but we'll have a conversation and we'll discuss your situation, discuss what it is that you're working on, what it is that you want to achieve, what it is that you're struggling with, and see if we can come up with a realistic action plan to move you towards reaching those fitness and fat loss goals. You know, you can get results just like Jeff has. I mean, he came on board a little bit skeptical, a little bit of self-doubt, wasn't sure of himself, didn't know if this was right for him or if it was overwhelming or whatever. He took action and look at the results. I mean, he's made an amazing before and after transformation and he's still getting leaner. Right? Every time we do a check-in, every time he posts pictures and measurements, there's noticeable improvement. So, I mean, like I say, he's still making progress right now as we speak. So, that's really cool to see. And I would love nothing more than to help you become a before and after transformation as well. So, again, if you'd like some help, reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to help you. And we can make your fitness and fat loss goals a reality. So, again, click on the link that's down below the video in the comments or in the description, wherever it is. You'll find it down there. Sign up for a free strategy session, and uh, let's get things moving. All right, have yourself a great one. Talk to you soon. Take care. Over and out.